Hey guys, thank you so much for coming back. This is going to be another one of my giant hauls and it's not just going to be makeup, it's also going to be clothes. I always love watching hauls and seeing what people prefer to buy and what they choose to buy. I'll be upfront and I'll tell you right away that most of these things came from Nordstrom Racks slash Hot Look. I love shopping there. I mean, you always get really good deals, awesome brands um, that normally would retail for a lot more and I would not be able to afford it. But with Nordstrom Racks discount, I always have locked out and grabbed some of the awesome, awesome brands. So I'm going to show you what I got in terms of closing items first and then I'll show you a whole bunch of makeup. Lately I've also been into shopping at Poshmark, which I've never done before, but since I've tried to sell some of my uh, decluttered items, I started looking at what other people are selling and I find it very, very cool. Not only are there used products, there are also a lot of new products there, but you get to negotiate and you get to have some awesome offers and some great prices. So I will show you guys what I got on Poshmark and then some other like discounted websites such as Shophosh. You already probably seen my previous haul if you watched it before from Shophosh.com and some other stores. I was really impressed with the quality of the items that I got. So I decided to go ahead and buy some more, especially because they had 40% off coupon. Like what? Seriously, you guys, like who does that? 40% off? Let me go ahead and get started, you guys. I'm excited. I'm so, so excited. So in case you're wondering why my foundation doesn't match my neck and why my under eye concealer is so bright, it's because I've just filmed a video trying out new Paracon MD. I don't know if it's new. It's just new to me. Uh, Paracon MD, no foundation foundation. And I did like a first impression slash review video. So if you guys are curious, check that one out. It is a pretty pricey foundation and unfortunately it does not really match my skin tone. But you know what? I decided I'm not washing it off. You guys know that I'm pretty busy and I only have certain like time frame where I can film videos. And it's usually not a lot so I decided not to waste any time and go ahead and jump straight into this video. And it's going to be a long, long, long one. So grab a snack, grab tea or whatever you like to drink. Coffee, soda, water. And let's get into it. I am so excited, you guys. I can't wait to show you what I got. Okay, so first of all, this shirt is so cute, you guys. I love shirts lately. I've been looking for shirts that kind of cover my butt because I've been wearing a lot of leggings. And this is a pretty long one. It is very nice, pretty coral shade. Um, and I really like that lately. So I got it for about $5, which is pretty, pretty impressive. Brand is DR2. I don't know, I've never heard that brand, but I've discovered so many brands through Nordstrom Racks so far. Now, if you guys are interested in it, you don't have an account yet, check out my link down below in the description box because um, they have awesome referral system for, for every friend that signs up through your link and then buy something, you get $20, which is like super impressive. So yeah, if you don't mind, use my link if you don't have an account yet, but you can also just, you know, do nordstromrex.com also. It's definitely your preference. And then this shirt. So I guess because it's winter time, especially on the East Coast, um, they have a lot of sale on, on summer clothes. So this shirt was also like $3. Very cute. Um, just kind of longer and it has that mustard shade my camera is probably washing everything out but we're gonna give it a try and i i'll try to describe things to you if if i see that my camera is washing it out the reason why i keep on looking to the right is because i have like a computer screen making sure that i'm in focus because the one time i filmed a video and i was like the whole time not in focus and then, then I had to refilm it. I better be safe than sorry and check the computer out periodically. Some people get annoyed at that because like some other YouTubers do that. Then people always comment like, keep on looking at the camera lens. But sometimes you have to check it out, you know, make sure we're in focus. All right, enough talking because I'm rushing. That's why I'm like gibbering. So then we have this Rebecca Minkoff. That's what I'm talking about. Like an awesome brand, very high, what do you call that? High not high level, high, high end. God, I can't believe I forgot that. Anyways, very high end brand. Um, 
this cute little hat I got for four dollars you guys and guess what the main thing that attracted me to this is because it has little speakers or not speakers headphones inside so you put it on and you get to listen to whatever you want let's see if I can make this work all right right there oh this is nice and comfy so yeah you just plug it in into your phone or whatever other device you have and you get to stay warm and comfortably listen to whatever you want oh god now my hair why did I do that now my hair is going to be a mess, but it's okay, girls, you understand. This is a very pretty yellow shade, and of course, it's like washing out on here because I have a lot of light going on. But um, it's by 1901, very good quality. Again, I don't remember exactly for how much I got it, but it was definitely under $5. Same story with this one. Under $5, don't remember exactly the price. Oh my god, my camera is dying oh, my battery's dying of course um, this is by Joe Fresh and it's got like a cute little design in front with like flowers I don't know if you can see that it's navy blue up next is this cute little hat like I you guys know if you watch my videos I love everything that shines rhinestones glitter all of that stuff um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. Just a little, what do you call them? Binny? I think that's what you call them. But I think it's super adorable and cute. I'm definitely going to wear that. All right. Then I was like so excited that I snatched this skirt because it like completely sold out. And then I guess somebody returned it maybe. But then they pulled small. Just one, it's that one item left. Um, small was exactly my size. And this is by the company Tarte. I don't know if you've heard of that company. Um, it's like Tarte Collections. I have a few dresses from them that I got from Nordstrom Rex. And I love them. They're such a good quality. Dresses. There we go. It's just, it's black behind, like in the back. Gray silver in the front. And then a last closing item that I'll show you is this other skirt by... Collagen. It's got like very good quality guys. I can always tell by even like the zipper that you have if like it feels nice and sturdy and goes down smoothly. It's it's usually a good quality item. I know it might be a little weird but usually that's what I've noticed. All right let's get into phone cases. So yeah that's where I think I'm going to hear from my husband because I got a lot of them but they were like so cheap. Specs and some other cool brands for like three to four dollars. How could I not? First of all, I already put one on on my phone. That's Specs, by the way. Then we have Sonics Drop Test Certified. Generally, it's a really good brand. Like I've had a case before by them, and it's nice and sturdy, and it retails for. A lot more than even twenty dollars. So that's that. Which brand? This is sugar paper. Printed case. Then we have specs. Oh. Nice baby pink color. Which obviously you can't even tell, you guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know how I'm gonna do this haul with my camera. Okay, there we go. Just a little focus we got. Um, another spec. Focus. Yes. I think this is as good as it's going to get. Um, just very pretty black shade. Oh, and I'm dropping things already. That's because I'm rushing. And then we have another Sonics and House of Harlow. Very cute cases. Look at this one. Can you see? It's got like those golden leaves. And this one is even prettier. All of them were under $5, which again... Even in TJ Maxx, I can never find cases that are under $5. And let alone good brands like that. Up next, you guys are going to see a lot of makeup. A lot. So get ready. This whole bin right here is filled with makeup. And then I have some more stuff underneath. So actually, I'm going to show you this first. This is Sydney Grace eyeshadows. 
if you guys have watched some Degada videos, you probably have seen that a lot of people, or have noticed, that a lot of people have Sydney Grace eyeshadows. And I got really curious because they all say really good things about that brand. Um, they say that they make amazing quality eyeshadows and they are very affordable. Um, this is the fall bundle. They had sale going on on that, so I decided to grab it. But I also need a Z palette now because I don't know where to store them. That's why they're still in here. Some items that I got on Poshmark. I, I decided to try Pat McGrath Mothership. Mothership? to Sublime palette. I don't think I have to open it for you guys because you probably have seen this tons already on YouTube. A lot of people love it. It's a very expensive eyeshadow palette, but I got it on a very good discount, almost like 50% discount, and it's gently, it's like barely touched. It's said on there that it's brand new and not touched, but unfortunately I saw some swatch marks. But again, she gave me such a good discount that I'm willing to let it slide. I also got something else on Poshmark. Okay, yes, I got the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows 4. And this is the one where it has neutral colors and I always wanted that one. I know that Sephora still has sale going on on the other one that has more colorful eyeshadows, but this one is like cool toned and it looks like it's all matte. It is all matte. And everybody says that these are great as well. I picked up this little set here from Ulta. I believe I already showed it to you in one video. But I just want to let you know that I've been using it and I love it. Especially like the eye cream. It's called Eyelid Lift Serum. It works so well. So if you have under eye bags, I think, honestly, right now my plan is going to be trying creams that are like lifting and tightening instead of like that are specifically designed for under eye puffiness and see if that will work if because I need to tighten up my skin underneath my eyes to maybe then diminish the look of my under eye bags but yeah that's just my little theory but I feel like so far I see a minimal tiny little difference which I didn't see before with other creams that are specifically designed for under eye bags and for a lot of items from Nurture Max. This is cute little necklace that I got for $2.99 I believe. Let's see if it's going to show you guys. It just says love and it has a little diamond. If I block my face will it focus on the thing? Just believe me it's very cute and it's sterling silver and I got it for $2.99. Like it doesn't get better than that. Oh, I also got Sydney Grace liquid eyeshadow and it's like this awesome metallic shade that I saw online and I'm like, gosh, I have to have this even though I have hooded eyelids. I know you guys are probably so tired of me saying that, but I do. And I usually don't use like glitter or shimmer too much. I wish I could. It just doesn't look flattering on me. But look at this. Come on, focus. This is like a gorgeous but anyways, it's like super pigmented, very pretty liquid eyeshadow that then turns into cream. It feels like cream once it dries out. I decided to try a brand. This is shophosh.com, Ocalan. And it's a natural palette that reminds me so much of um, Balm, the Balm. Like natural nude dude or whatever. Hopefully it focused, but this was six dollars. I want to say with like the discount, the forty percent discount. I will try to link the code underneath you guys, like in the description box. I hope it still works, but you know, give it a try if you're interested in these things. I will probably stop opening everything up. Well, maybe I will not, because then it's not going to be fun. I will just still continue to open everything up. So this is another another eyeshadow palette by Ocalan. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I usually don't, but forgive me for that. And this is the Ciolor Matte Eyeshadow Shine Easy Glam Product Secret. Now this is an exact dupe of, I don't know if you guys can guess, Lime Crime Venus Palette. Let me see if I can put two of them together, side by side. If I can find my Venus palette. Alright, are you ready for this? Oh, better not drop them. You see how similar they are? 
Now, you know what I want to do? I want to do a video where I compare all of the like these dupes and maybe even do like one eye high-end brand. The other one will be the dupe. And this way you guys will know whether it compares or not, whether you should even spend your money on it. But I hear good things about all of these brands, especially Bet Habit. They, they say, everybody says that it's so good. Then this is by Bet Habit actually, and it's Midnight Summer, no, Midsummer Night, 30 color eyeshadow palette. And this one is definitely a lot like Too Faced, what do you call that? The natural, like the really large natural palette. All right, let me see if I can open this up and try to have my camera focus. Then obviously I had to get this time, like the Aphrodite palette and where's the other one? Athena. You guys know that these are like exact dupes of Huda Beauty palettes. I don't own Huda Beauty palettes, so I'll not be able to tell you whether they are the same quality or not. But I hear that they are actually, or like they're super duper close, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm, you know what? You guys probably have seen these. I'm not gonna open them up because that's gonna take me like a million years to film. I'm gonna finish up with Bad Habit and Shophosh. Dot com and then I'll go into what I got from Nordstrom Rex. It's the one item I'm like so excited about. You guys are gonna die when you see what I got and for how much I got it. This is the After Dark, the Bad Habit eyeshadow palette and again, Duke for Huda Beauty. Uh, I think it's the Mauve, Mauve Obsessions one. So let me try not to open it up, you guys, so that it goes faster. But if you're curious to see any of the reviews on any of these, let me know. I'll try to do like a combination video where I do swatches and like play around with them and tell you my opinions. And this way I'll know what, which ones you're interested in. And so this way I will try to test them out as soon as I can. Then we have Fante Fantasia Shadow Collection. Actually, let me open this one up because I haven't seen many people show this. Oh, oh, yes, this is a cool one. This is a dupe for Natasha Denona. What was it, Summer or something? No, what I'm talking about, the blue, and the blue packaging palette. That's pretty cool, because it does look very similar. Colors are just as vibrant. And this is by Ocalan again, natural eyeshadow palette. This is pretty cute. Oh yeah, this is like, I think this is a dupe for Stila. Like, remember the older Stila palettes that we were all obsessed with? This one, this particular one, I always wanted to get, but I never got. It's It had the shade Kitten in it. I honestly don't see a shade that will resemble Kitten. Bronze comes close, but it's not. I remember Kitten. I have it actually in one of the palettes, and it is not bronzy. But anyways, it should still hopefully be a good palette. Then we have, by Bad Habit, M Mythos? Mythos? These names, cult my mythos, mythos. <laughs> now I sound like I have a Spanish accent or something. By the way, we just came back from Dominican Republic. We went there for our, our best friend's wedding and it was awesome. They had like the destination wedding. And so, oh my God, Dominican Republic is beautiful. It's my favorite place to go on vacation. Uh-oh, this one has a broken shadow. I'll just be very careful you guys show you but Shop Hosh is actually really good usually if you got a damaged item. Same with Sephora. They've been so nice and Ulta too. I think Macy's was the only issue I've had. This is Artistry palette by ha Bad Habit. Oh this is another one broken. Crap. I believe this is like the Mario and Anastasia Beverly Hills collab. So I wanted to try that one out. I don't own that palette either. So I'm like, you know, at least I can try the dupe. I got Milani T Rose blush. It was like super discounted because I used that 40% off coupon and they already had sales going on. And then I have this Honey Bee Gardens 
It's Complexion Perfecting Pressed Blush. Now this one I've never seen or heard of before, so I'd be very curious to try it out. Also the last item here would be the Pro Concealer HD High Definition. I got this item for free because at the end after you or before you check out they actually have this little thing you spin the wheel and you get one item for free and this is the one that my wheel or my arrow landed on so um, this is by LA girl I used to have regular concealers by that company because everybody was like obsessed with them before but this is just a white one so I don't know how that's gonna go oh it's a highlighter okay that makes sense it's not really concealer, it's a highlighter. I'm gonna show you the most exciting item that I got from Nordstrom Rex because I, I just can't wait. I have to brag about this. It's NARS lipstick, you guys, in an awesome shade too. So this is in the shade Vanessa, and I'll show you. This shade is super duper pretty, you guys. Look at this. So it is still on sale at Nordstrom Rex. If you're interested, definitely pick it up, check it out do whatever but this is an awesome very pretty lipstick I actually swatched it from before when I was filming a silent video apparently so that's the shade very pretty nude um, not nude but neutral color again usually you would think that discounted stores have items that nobody wants or colors that are kind of weird and not popular this is actually a really nice color so I don't know why it's on sale there I got it when it was on, on clearance and usually they run like the 25% off clearance already which is like an extra deal you guys like Stores usually don't like to give you discounts on clearance items. So I really appreciate when Nordstrom Rex does that. And I got it for $9. So for NARS lipstick, I think it's a very good deal. Then we have Stila eyeshadow. This is the liquid eyeshadow. I think it's called Carefree. And the specific name is Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Very pretty color. Do you see that it's uh, got like gold flakes? That's the the swatch. Can you see that right there? Very pretty shade. Nine dollars Nordstrom Rex. All right, you know what? Since we're on the Nordstrom Rex marathon, I'll show you what else I got from there. It is Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation, and this is the foundation slash soft contour stick. This is the contour side, so it's a bit darker, I actually swatched it right, right there. And I really like the, the undertone to it because I don't like to contour with orangey undertones. This actually has that grayish uh, neutral tone, which is great because then it's going to look like a natural shadow instead of like dirt on your face, if you know what I'm talking about. And then this is the shade, um, this is the side with foundation, stick foundation. Has some awesome reviews, I'm so curious to try it out. $10 you guys, normally it retails for I think close to $40. So it's an awesome deal. And this shade is 1.0, they had an even lighter option with 0.5. But I didn't want to risk it because I knew I was going to go on vacation and get maybe hopefully a little tan. So this is me tan. This is, this is, yeah, I was under a sun and I'm still, I swear I have reflect sun. That's how pale I am. Yeah, because I like barely get tan anymore. Well, anyways, um, so I decided to go up a shade, which I think, I think it's fine. It should match me pretty well. Up next, I'll show you a few cool things. Um, again, Nordstrom Rex. And this is the Carl Ledgerfeld, Ledgerfeld or Ledger, Ledgerfield, Feld probably, plus model company. Look at this cuteness, you guys. It is adorable. It's a lip gloss or is it lipstick? Oh, it has a mirror here. Oh man, I haven't seen these in a while. Like that used to be a very popular option a while back to have a mirror on your like lip items. This is a very gorgeous color. This is in the shade Saint Tropez Sunset and it's right here. This is my type of shade. You know what? I can probably put it over this. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting that it lights up. This was around $4. I want to say under $4. 
and it comes with a little light like that is amazing don't know what it serves like what the purpose is of this light but I like it it looks cool can you see that oh it's awesome all right let me see almost like whitens your it makes your teeth look lighter is that one of those things like that LED light that you remember was a thing a few years back well, if it's asymmetrical, you guys are going to have to forgive me because I was trying to do it through this little mirror, which actually comes in handy. I like it. So that's that. And then you guys are going to drop from the cuteness. Uh, that was the packaging. I already took it out. Can you see this? Have you ever seen an eyeshadow palette shaped this way? It is, again, that same line, Carl Ledgerfield Feld. Um, plus model company uh, and this is the Chopette collectible eyeshadow palette day to night but that's what it looks like you guys it's super pretty now I'm, I'm tempted to try it out I'm a little afraid because I read some reviews and people are saying that it's not as pigmented and doesn't last as long so this was $20 and, and they say it retails for man I keep forgetting the prices I want to say definitely over $40 so you would assume for a palette that retails over $40 it should have some decent pigmentation it should have some nice pigmentation so if this doesn't perform well luckily Nordstrom Rex can take it back it's a returnable item somehow usually their makeup and beauty items are not returnable that's the the one thing that I hate about that but again you get such an awesome discount they probably think like mm -mm, we're not taking it back anyways this is a super duper cute palette hopefully it performs well and if it doesn't I'll just return it and then same thing with like this mascara it is the fiber lash brush on false lashes and it is an interesting concept but let's see instant false lashes in a bottle mascara effect box seals don't know what I just read comes with two little tubes this just looks like a regular mascara right here I'll just demonstrate I'll show you guys what it looks like in case you're wondering this was $9.99 like the, the combination the duo looks like normal bristles actually looks pretty good this is step one now step two are you ready for this that is step two you guys how is it gonna work I don't know apparently it should work because it has awesome reviews almost five stars so people are saying that it really does do a good job in lengthening but i really i've never seen anything like this it is like true fiber consistency remember i was saying that i wanted to try this new item that came out on lolta it's a new eyeshadow palette it is by either la splash or la splash and it's the golden gatsby very elegant packaging if you guys watched the great gatsby movie it really is resembling the theme of the movie very cute packaging this is the front and then the back do you see the saying it's just very nice darling it wouldn't be a party without you just like something new you know then when you open it up you have a nice decent sized mirror in here and then the eyeshadows are beautiful I already used them you guys on my vacations and they lasted through I don't believe I used an eye primer eyelid primer they did not budge which I was like shocked. I think I only use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as my uh, base. So pretty pigmented you guys and have very nice lasting power. I don't remember that they were powdery or anything like that. This whole row is like shimmer. Can you see that? It is shimmer slash metallic shades and then the top row is basically matte it has a little bit of like a satin look but i believe it's all matte this was only 28 dollars well not only for the quality that you get 28 dollars is actually pretty good price for this palette i'm curious to try out some other things from that company it is made in usa i don't know if it's like the newer company coming out on the market because i have not seen anybody talk about it or have seen it sold at ulta previously and so, 
you know what I think I'm gonna do a more detailed review of this palette let me know if you're interested I'm just curious and I'll just do a look with it so you guys can see for yourself how pigmented it is Ooh. two more products I'll just show them at once okay so NYX glitter loose glitter and NYX glitter glue don't ask me why I got it but I wanted it it was on sale the shade is MGLI03 it is nice I want to say it's like raspberry pink can you tell First of all, I got it to play around with glitter because you guys know I like anything that sparkles, shines, or is glittery. I've never played with loose glitter, like in terms of my eyelids or doing any looks with loose glitter. I do have like a glitter eye palette from Too Faced, but it's a bit different. It's like micro glitter there. And you really don't need a glitter glue for this palette. There's actually a really nice palette I got on the sale a while back. But I wanted to give this a try. Also, I wanted to just play with glitter and do like accent nails and stuff because I usually do accent nails when I do my manicure. I don't know what it is. I just like look the way it looks. All right, guys, that's it for my haul. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.